Hi, welcome to the Dora's Breakpoint tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we will cover what is a breakpoint, how to create a breakpoint, how to replace and delete a breakpoint. So let's start with what is a breakpoint. So with Dora's three built-in breakpoints, you can ensure your websites are responsive across different device widths. In Dora, we support three possible breakpoints, mobile, tablet, and desktop. So desktop is the style that applies universally unless overridden at other breakpoints. So here you can see when I am stretching and shrinking down the page, the content and the layout is changing. This makes sure that your content is displayed in the best way that fits the device. Second, let's create a breakpoint together. So in the page here, I have a built um, homepage for a website. And on the right hand side, when you click the plus button, you can add tablet or mobile breakpoint. Let's start with tablet. So it will copy the same page, but the device size is changed to tablet. So we will adjust all the contents here so it looks nice on the tablet size. First, I am changing the uh, size and the height of our title. Second, I will change the size of our subtitle and also changing the text section's height as hub. Then I change the padding. It does not need so much in the tablet. I also change the distance between each element. The general rule is when it goes to tablet or mobile, with smaller devices, your gaps can be smaller. And here, I want to restructure this as well. Originally, it was four columns. Now I want to do a two row, two column. So I am gonna reset the constraints. After finishing the tablet one, I will create this mobile device. So now it's just doing all the things again. Because of the limited space, I am changing all the buttons on the navigation bar here into a hamburger menu so it looks more clean. Then it's just all the similar process, changing section paddings, changing title, text size. Because of the characteristic of mobile, sometimes it's better to use vertical layout in here. So I put the image below the text instead of the original one where the text is on the left and the image is on the right. I'm also editing the size and also adjusting the constraints to make it look better. So after everything is done, let me show you the preview. So it looks like this. When I shrink the browser and it reaches a certain size, it will jump to that breakpoint. And if it happens that your breakpoint is not changing, just click on the refresh to refresh the browser. Last, let's talk about delete and replace. So currently on the mobile and tablet breakpoint, they each have a page fixed with it. And if we want to switch the page to another page, for example, now I create a page called new mobile, so I can go back to the breakpoint. So here you see two pages. Now I choose new mobile. So the corresponding mobile breakpoint page will change from the original desktop mobile to this new mobile page. And in terms of delete, you just have to click on the minus button beside the breakpoint. Now we deleted the desktop tablet view. And if we go back to the desktop tablet view, you will see that the device of this page have been changed to our default desktop again instead of the tablet it used to be. That's all the information in today's tutorial. Let's make a quick recap. So in today's tutorial, we talk about what is a breakpoint, how to create a breakpoint, how to delete and replace a breakpoint. See you in the next episode.